Hi, I'm Bill Lancaster and I'm going to be your host for this uh, video on bowl design. I'm calling it bowl design 2 because I've done a previous uh, video on bowl design but this will be bowl design 2 and I'm going to show you some things that I've run into recently that will um, I hope be helpful to you. Uh, I talked with you be before about this book called The Art of Turn Bowls by Richard Raven. He's just done a great job with this and it's a truly wonderful book and he shows you all kind of good things in it and one of the things he mentions in this book is that the bowl should lift off the table. I'm going to try to show you some bowls that I've made that I think lift off pretty well. Um, this is a little a little uh, maple bowl that I've done that has um, milk paint and lambing wax on it. It does a pretty good job of lifting off, I think, if you can see that. And then uh, this one has milk paint on it too. It's a, a Bradford pear bowl. And uh, it's got a kind of a narrow base, but it lifts up off. This one um, has flutes on it, and I think it does pretty well at lifting off the table. I don't think you can see those very well. Trying to get them where they'll do better. Um, the light's not wonderful. Here, this one you'll be able to see a little better, I think. Um, this one is a uh, live oak bowl. I kept the, the uh, bark on it, and I, I did it this way with the... Uh, uh, with the grain going up through it, and that's a difficult thing to do with live oak, but that lifts off anyway. And it's got a nice light colored base, which, um, which helps it to uh, do that. And then um, this little bowl has no flat spots on it whatsoever. It's a wonderful little design. You see it has no flat spots. It's round on the bottom, purple heart, and uh, it does a good job of coming right up off the table. And then another, this will be the last one, uh, another one that I think does pretty well is this one. So anyway, you see those bowls and how they um, are designed to lift off the table. Richard does a, a lot of other things in this book. He talks about the, um, the Greeks' golden mean. And the Greeks' golden mean, I'll show you the diagram for it. This is the diagram that Richard, out of Richard's book, that he, where it describes how the golden mean is calculated. It's a little complicated to use, but it's uh, uh, 1.618 is the uh, is the uh, the kind of constant that you use with that. It's sort of like the artist rule of thirds. If you can use the rule of thirds, then you can get close to this same thing. It's maybe easier to use that. Richard also has these wonderful uh, diagrams, drawings in his book. Can you see those? I'm not sure. He has hundreds of these things. And so you can see lots of things that you can do uh, with uh, bold design and have lots of ideas and lots of inspiration in this book, The Art of the Turn of Turn Bowls by Richard Raffin. Good book. So there's that. The, um, one of the things I like to try to do out of Richard's book and out of my other learnings is to try to use the rule of thirds or the, the Greek's golden mean. And that rule of thirds says if the, uh, if the diameter of your bowl is a certain diameter, you want the height of it to be one third. So you want the height to be one third of the diameter. It just looks good. I found it looks good and that's what I try to do. So you get that ratio between the diameter and the height at about uh, one-third and then you can also make the base of your bowl about one-third of the diameter or make the base of it two-thirds it depends on which way you want to go with it and either one is pretty good but sometimes it uh, flubs and I'm going to show you one bowl that I've done that I think flubbed and I want to try to fix it and that is uh, this bowl right here if you see this bowl 12 inches in diameter, but it just squats. I'm not looking at it. It just squats down on the table. See that? This is 12 inches in diameter, and it just squats. It just, I don't like it, and I don't like the way it looks. So I, I want to redo it and try to fix it. 
So um, what I had done originally, this is the top, and I haven't done the inside yet, but what I had done originally was to try to um, make a two-thirds width, which I thought was pretty good because I wanted to do a recess and I wanted to have lots of wood on the margins here to support the outward thrust of the uh, chuck. So um, I tried to do this wide, make sure I had plenty of, of wood there, to, and, but what happened was then it, uh, it turned out to be a squatty looking bowl. So what I have done is created a, a new bottom for it, trying to get it to lift up and I have got some wonderful, um, it's called tiger maple. It's this stuff, tiger maple. It's a wonderful white wood. I thought the white would help, help it to lift up off the table and uh, I've turned it so that I can do a de design sort of like what David Ellsworth has done. I'm gonna show you. Get it centered here. But you see how that's going to look when I finally get it glued together. It's going to be, uh, uh, have a nice, nice lift to it. And that's what I want. The white wood on the bottom and the, once I get this base on it right here, it's going to be exactly one third as high as the 12 inch diameter. So that's going to be perfect the way it's going to turn out. I'm, I'm probably going to core the, uh, another bowl out of the inside of this get a nine inch bowl out of that with my one-way coring system. So that's a such wonderful wood. I thought I'd try to do that. The original uh, wood came from a friend of mine. A few years ago we were able to harvest a huge cherry tree. And it's been about five years ago. Uh, two friends and I were able to harvest it. One of the friends died and his family gave me some pieces of the wood. This is a 16 quarter piece. You see it's all weathered. It was stored outside underneath a deck. And it's all weathered and, uh, and gray looking. And, but when you get it, get it uh, turned, it turns out so beautiful. And this is what you get with it. This uh, kind of wonderful cherry look. Just beautiful. So that's what I like, I had thought about trying to put uh, some flutes on this and it's so pretty I decided not to put flutes on it. So I'm just gonna leave it, uh, this is sanded to 400, I'm gonna leave it smooth and, and just put this uh, base on it to try to lift it up some more. So that's a little bit more about bowl design. Remember the, the book, Richard Raffin's book? It's a, a great book. So um, uh, remember that when, and you might wanna just buy that book and, and uh, and read it. It's terrific and you get lots and lots of inspiration out of it. So um, that's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm trying to get this, this squatty looking thing to lift up off the table and um, we'll go from there. But uh, anyway, that's the, the today's video. I'm sorry, it's so, so rough. I hope to make up in authenticity for the lack of polish on these videos. And I appreciate those of you who have subscribed to uh, uh, to put up with me on these things. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you subscribe. I have no sponsors. I just me. I just tell you what I like and uh, I might mention some brands and some things like uh, Richard Raffin's book, but I don't get any, any uh, sponsorship from anybody. I'm just happy to be a good, to try to be a turner and uh, pass on what I have learned. So that's all for now. See you next time. Maybe we'll do some uh, coring next time. Bye.